Today we're checking out the prototype and pad, a flexible magnetic build surface you can use on your 3D printer to make removing prints a heck of a lot easier. Let's get started. Welcome back to Makers Muse guys. So the team over at Prototype got in touch with me and asked me to check out their very new build surface, the Prototype and Pad. So this pad is a magnetic build surface and it is a two part system. So it comes in a fantastic looking box, which is a polypropylene folded affair and it has a spatula. It has the two parts of the build surface itself and a feeler gauge for making sure your surface of your nozzle is perfect for this pad. So what I'm holding here is the top surface of the pad and I decided to apply the pad to my Cetus. So this is my pre-production Cetus 3D printer. And you can see here, I've applied the other part of the pad to the build surface here. So I thought, thought the Cetus was a good opportunity, a good candidate rather, to test a removable build surface or build plate because normally you have to scrape on this with a spatula and you could damage the printer over time doing that. So how the prototype and pad works is it's a magnetic system. So this plate is magnetically attached to this plate, but you need to align it up in the correct direction. You can't just kind of just arbitrarily stick it down. It won't stick in some angles. So that's how it works. It attaches to your print surface and you print onto it as normal. My first criticism of the pad itself is it only comes in one size, 200 by 190 millimeters. And this is a really unusual size to choose. I will be honest. I don't know any 3D printer on the market with that build size. I know 200 by 200 is quite common, like with the Wanhaus, but I don't know a 190 by 200. So with a Cetus, it actually overhangs slightly. So it's a little bit too big for that build platform, unfortunately, but it does cover the entire platform, which is handy. If you have a bigger build platform, you're not gonna be able to cover it completely with the prototype and pad. But how does the pad perform as a print surface? Well, I've been using mostly PLA on the Cetus because it has an unheated build surface and it sticks PLA down beautifully. Although I did notice if you don't get that first layer really nice and close, probably why they include the feeler gauge, it's gonna warp up. So they do say you can use the prototype and pad on a heated bed, but I would be careful because this style of flexible magnetic sheet traditionally doesn't have very high temperature resistance. And I would probably steer clear from printing ABS and heating this up to 100 degrees or so. They recommend not doing that very much so because you're probably gonna lose adhesion and damage the magnetic plate itself. You notice also I've got lots of scuff on this. I actually put some glue on this, just standard glue stick to help some stuff stick down, in particular the PET I was testing. It's not really necessary, you just need to make sure it's nice and clean. And some of the prints, I did have the nozzle pushing really close to it, actually failing, making the machine fail to extrude, and it hasn't damaged the surface. So long-term use, I can see this plate lasting for quite some time. But the main advantage is the fact that you can remove it. So you can take this plate off the printer and flex it. And it is super satisfying to flex prints off. You can just flex them off, chuck it back on the printer and you're away to go without having to worry about losing bed level or nozzle height. So final thoughts on the prototype and pad. Have I enjoyed using it on the Cetus? Yes, it's gonna stay there for as long as I can keep it there. It can be a little bit tricky lining up the magnetic spots and making sure it's the right orientation. And again, the size is very strange. If your printer's bed is too large for this build surface or perhaps you can't, can't allow for the thickness, it is very thick, approximately three millimeters or so uh, combined, maybe a little bit more, and you need to allow for that loss of height because it's a lot thicker than say a build tack sheet. And then there's the price as well. I'm sorry, but 32 euros for a build surface, even one as good as this is pretty expensive. So that puts this build surface more in the realm of a gift or for those power users that can justify a print service of that cost. Most people are gonna just be happy using glass and a, a, an adhesive glue stick and just being uh, having to deal with the fact that the bed is rigid. But if you're using your printer all the time and you want a bed that can be removed on a machine that usually doesn't allow it, the prototype and pad may be for you. So I'm gonna put a link in the description of where you can buy it. But a big thanks to the team for sending it over to me to test and full disclosure, it was sent to me free of charge quite a while ago to do some uh, sort of pre-production testing and I'm quite happy with it, but no money has changed hands 
and this review or video is completely my unbiased opinion. So if you enjoyed this video guys here on Makers Views and want to see future 3D printing tips, tricks, reviews, projects, all of that good stuff, hit that subscribe button, helps us out a huge amount. I look forward to seeing you again very shortly. Catch you later guys, bye. Hoo-hoo-hoo, <laughs> almost dropped the Cetus.